In this experiment, we will react one liquid which is saturated and one which is unsaturated, both with bromine water. Bromine is the diatomic Br2, a member of the group 7 elements, the halogens. The halogens are all reactive molecules, they're all diatomics, and they undergo what's called an addition reaction. Their key reaction is addition reactions. I will turn on the fume cupboard, it will make a loud noise, and I will not be speaking while we add the bromine water to the saturated hexane and the unsaturated hexene. Note, hexane and hexene are both clear and colourless liquids. The bromine was originally this pale yellow colour. It's a very low concentration of bromine water for safety. If it's a higher concentration, it would be orange, or if it's pure bromine, it's a foul smelling brown liquid. You will have seen we were wearing rubber gloves when we were handling the bromine water. We also used a fume cupboard because bromine is a toxic element. When bromine water was added to the, the hexane, the bromine water is lying at the bottom here and it has remained yellow. There has been no reaction. There's two layers there because bromine and, sorry, the bromine water and the hexane are insoluble. They do not dissolve in each other. But the bromine has not changed. It remains yellow. However, when bromine is added to an unsaturated hydrocarbon, such as hexene, again the bromine water is lying at the bottom here. You can see the two layers, I think. And the bromine water has decolorized. It has lost its yellow color and it is now clear and colorless. Bromine reacts with unsaturated hydrocarbons such as hexene, but does not react with saturated hydrocarbons such as hexene.